Welcome back to my next part of the A380X uh, fly-by-wire sim <laughs> tour. Um, we are now taking a, a walk around the inside of the plane. Um, this is the top of the stairs at the front. Um, what you can see is as you go down those stairs, um, you see the door, those, door, like those four steps to the left at the bottom that is the entrance to the cockpit so as you board the plane and you come up these stairs you will enter the first the premium section which i think on this um this layout uh, is premium and business sorry it's first class and business class all the way to the back of the plane um, so this is modeled very closely on the Emirates A380 layout. So a lot of the motifs kind of, um, and uh, design uh, kind of very similar to that. All the choices of, of materials, like wood and the, uh, the way it's decorated. So you've got this really cool grand staircase that comes up the, 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 from the front of the plane. Uh, really cool lighting and you get to this um, like <clears throat> the lobby area where you, I think usually they would put drinks or snacks out in front for um, first class passengers. I think to the left and right you've got toilets. I think these might be configured um, as showers on, in, on Emirates first class. I'm not sure if this has anything, but um, you can tell even though there's not much model here, there's a lot of space in the front um, for um, the first class um, bathrooms, um, both. And I've seen one in real life, um, Korean Airlines um, bathroom fills this entire space, um, at least I think it, on both sides. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's a similar space. Um, they're just like enormous single person bathrooms. Um, all right. So we'll take a look at the first class section. We walk through here. These are again modeled really closely on the Emirates A380 first class suites. Um, let's see. And my height is a little adjusting. There we go. That's better. They have sliding doors so you can have more privacy and the uh, pop-up remote control here. This is totally Emirates style <laughs> stuff. Um, oh. And that's the view. And that's where you can see the engines out that window. So this would be 1A, I'm guessing. Is there any seat numbering here? No, I don't think so. Um, however, if I sit... I put a chair right there. And get to sit down in this suite. So, this would be the view of, I think, probably like... If that's 1A, this might be 2B. Uh, we've got the remote control and a little seat controls a little desk and a screen and then the pop-up um, probably dining table falls out of there um, got middle screen which I think raises or lowers and you can have a your partner sit next to you And that is first class. So let's keep walking. It's more sweets. So good number of sweets here. And then back here, you'll see there's a little break. There's some panels missing. I don't think they expected anyone to 
walk around like this. This exit door is nicely modeled, you know, all the correct stuff there, the handle. Um, but, you know, you're seeing some missing geometry here on the uh, inside of the plane. Just, uh, I think, the uh, middle bulkhead. Um, and then, let's explore uh, business class. Okay. Uh, this is the business class section on the A380. We're still on the upper deck. Up at the front was first class. And then uh, this is a typical Emirates style uh, business class suite. Um, lots of wood trim on this finish. Let's take a look at what this seat feels like. So I'm gonna take one of these aisle seats. This one here. A little footwell. It's a little more snug, but still very comfortable. Um, a little bit more snug than the um, first class seats. You got the uh, tray table that comes out, I think, in the armrest. I'm not sure. Ah, yeah, I think usually it slides out from under, under here. You got the um, seat controls. Bring this down into a flatbed. Your feet go up into the footwell. And then you got your entertainment screen here. here. And then they give you some uh, drinks. Every seat has got little drinks bottles modeled in. You got power outlets and a little wide remote control. It's even got a little... Um, Flybar wire logo, although it is reversed on this texture, so someone has to fix that UV on the OBJ. Um, oh, some of those textures are also reversed. I don't know if we should, we should report that. Um, cool, <laughs> so great. I mean, I could do a, a live stream, you think, like for an eight hour flight <laughs> in my seat just in the seat. That would be crazy. Maybe. Um, if I had a way to map project and video back into the sim onto the screen, I'd probably do that. Got a nook to put your shoes. And then let's keep walking back. Yeah. And this is what I remember about the Emirates business class. The upper deck is so long that the business class is so huge. It just goes on and on and on. Um, here's a lot of premium passengers, a lot of premium business. <clears throat> uh, we are now at the back of the business class section on the upper lounge. As you can see in the model, again, some geometry missing. Um, the model's already too heavy, but it would be cool maybe after in the later stages of this uh, this release that some of these panels are finished. There's some missing geometry down the middle of the uh, aisle. I think it wouldn't take too much, too many polygons to fill in those spaces at least. Um, we're at the back of the business class section again. Standard seat, replicate it all the way back, and uh, let's keep walking to the back. At the back, at, at, on Emirates, at the back, they have this bar for all the business class passengers, and it's a whole um, little area for you to relax. Um, there is <clears throat> some geometry missing here so the, it does seem a little bit wider than I think it would be um, maybe they can finish this out but yeah there's a whole um, bar area here usually over the doors they would after the planes at cruise they would put extra um, wooden panels up that are almost like uh, like bar counters 
that on both sides and then you can get drinks, uh, pick up snacks, ask for a, uh, there's a bartender standing here in the middle um, and they're you know, happy to make you any drink you want um, and usually on the counters they've got all the, the little cakes, sandwiches and snacks laid out. It's super nice. I would recommend you try it once. Um, and that's it. Let's see. Um, that is the lounge area. It's really cool that Fly by Wife included this as part of the model. Again, this would be cool if they finish out. Finish it out. Let's see. I'm gonna see if there's anything else in the back here, like this, which would be, I think, the galley. Oh, I forgot. That's right. You've got the rear set of stairs. So, at the back, I believe these would be where the bathrooms, I think, at the back are. So maybe that needs to be finished at some point. Um, but you do have a second set of stairs at the back of the plane that leads down into economy. I have actually, usually they rope this off during the flight. They don't really want people. A lot of foot traffic going upstairs, downstairs for no reason. Um, so we'll just come down from there, come down. Now we're on the lower level, lower deck. Already it feels a little, you know, this is the back of the economy section. So it's denser and you just can feel the, the difference in the intensity and um, the open air layout. It's like not as luxurious. Um, back here would be the galley and uh, bathrooms. Um, let's, let's see, am I lined up with this hallway? Okay, so here we are, <clears throat> economy, um, looks like the um, overhead panel is finished, the uh, all the luggage space is is modeling is finished. Um, seats are nicely textured. Fabrics are nice. They've got they've all got their individual pillows and tray tables. Um, I think in the middle. I mean, maybe the uh, no smoking signs, seatbelt signs, those textures and Wi-Fi symbols would probably be cool if those get done in the next in the next round um, but it's you know already a lot of it's a, a lot of work's gone into this and there's a lot of molding and textures already had to be done to get it this far um, these this door is really nice and all the right details and almost like you could crank this open and pull it open here you are in the middle uh, middle economy section back there it's the back of the plane and got a whole section of whole, whole another section of economy it's just so many rows you just so many people that can fit on this. I think at full capacity, we're talking between 350 to 400 people. I think A380, if fitted all economy, could fit over 500, which I think there might be a two A380s fitted out like that on Emirates, specifically for only really a couple of routes. It was very, very high density. keep going forwards. Here we are at the uh, front of the plane. We're almost at the front of the plane anyway. Um, more economy, more and more economy. And then at the very front of the plane, I think ahead of us, there is um, premium economy. There's a small section of premium economy at the front of the 
um, on our way back. Again, uh, you want to see what economy seating's like. So we can check that out. Um, Tracking slightly off, freaking out. Second. Is that lined up? That's lined up. Alright. So, yeah, I mean, it's definitely not as, as luxurious for sure. Um, but, um, you know, you got a lot of neighbors, they'll seat back t tray table and a little place to put your magazines and things. Um, pretty standard view. Yeah, I mean, not terrible. <laughs> I would rather be sitting at the front. All right, let's let's get out of here. Uh, we are at the front of the economy section. And keep walking forward, you'll go past um, bathrooms. I think this is where the galley would be. Um, ooh, nice. Take a Mike. Well, you've done a great job, Mike. And the model is by Repsol. Again. Only a little bit more to do, but it is amazing what has been done um, for for this essentially freeware. Um, you got the little bar area here where they would stock some uh, snacks and uh, drinks, bottled water, sodas for um, the premium economy passengers. I think they have access to that. Um, Jump seats. Is that main door? That door one. That might be door one. So premium economy. Little bit more plush seat. It's a two. Ooh, two four two. So it's one. Is that at the back? It's three four three. No. Oh. Ten across, right? Yeah. And this is eight across. So it's two less seats, a little bit wider. And if we sit here, yeah. So they're infinitely more comfortable. Uh, bigger armrests, a little footrest, and there's definitely a lot more legroom. I like it. No, you know, you, you don't miss the other things like remote control, so this TV is usually touch screen anyway. Let's keep going. Alright, so... <clears throat> Alright, so as we walk to the front of the plane, we reach the bottom of the stairs. And we're almost back where we started, at the top of these stairs. So, oh, this would be, I think, one left. I think this is the main door, right? Um, I think boarding doors, they would use this door, maybe the second one, and then one upstairs. Usually like three jetways for this plane. Um, the cockpit door, it's right here, with a little spy hole. Um, if you've never seen it before, and not many planes have, you have to access the cockpit upstairs. You got like four steps there, and I think this would normally be a bathroom. Maybe we can get that textured. Um, it's definitely access to something. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, cool. Got a jump seat here. And then that's it. We are back at the front of the plane, and then we, we, if I had a set of stairs to walk up, I could do this, but... That brings us back to the uh, top of the stairs. That is the entire interior of the 
fly-by-wire simulations A380X so far. This is the alpha release. Oh, maybe there's time. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you know. I don't. I'm sure they don't want the uh, texture size to grow so big that it hurts the frame rate and playability of this thing. But um, yeah, I think that's it. We've sat in every class of seating, right? First class we've checked out, business class, economy and premium. That's it. All right, the only thing left is the cockpit, which we will check out in the next video. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe and um, hit the bell for notification for the next video.